All right, so you want me to introduce? Yeah, kick All it right. off. All right, so we're here with Chris and Joe Moray, and you've been here six weeks, well, four weeks, seven, seven weeks. Yes. Wow, pretty new. <laughs> yeah, no brand new. Wow, wow. And you came from where? Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Yes, Groveland, Massachusetts. Yes. And you live where? Now? In Groveland, Florida. Wow. Groveland to Groveland. That was another. It was like it was destined to be. I agree. Well, you guys told me that because I was, you know, when you only went to look here. So tell it. Tell me what community you're in. Where did you decide to purchase? We're in Trilogy. Um, this is the only place that we actually toured, mm -hmm. but we wanted something that didn't have a golf course and something that was up near the lakes. So why did you not want a golf course? I know why, but I want you to explain because I think yeah. that would help people. Well, the expense, but the big thing mm -hmm. was that everything centers, not everything, but most of the people obviously golf, and neither one of us do. And we just felt that we would have more in common with a different group of people other than people that just wanted to golf all the time. It, that's a very interesting, um, other people have said that and I don't think we've talked about it much. So it's good to know. It's a very valid point that I probably wouldn't think of yeah. if somebody didn't point it out to me. So And there's not a lot of places that don't have golf, no. which I was really surprised. And yeah. that's why we kind of focused on here. We kept coming back and plus the accessibility to the lakes where we have the boat. That was the other thing. Wonderful. Plus it's beautiful. And there's, so tell me why you chose this. When did you start looking at 55 and over communities and why this area? Well, I started years ago, just going online and everything. And then as we came out of COVID, we got a little more serious about it. I, I was, um, he had some operations, some, some uh, resistance to it because once it's over 55, I said, now I got, I, I, I'm old. I have to do something like that. And uh, she finally convinced me, no, it's, that's not like that. So, I don't think it is. No. Do you mind that being no. here? No, I absolutely uh, have no difficulty at all and, and with the people here, the, the community, the atmosphere. It's, uh, I, I can't believe I didn't do it sooner. Well, most mm -hmm. people say that, don't you think, Justin? Yeah. yeah. So another reason that you guys looked at this area is you have a daughter in Winter Park, right? Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay, so that was part of the draw. Is that So did you only focus on the Central Florida area, or when you were doing research, were you looking at other No, places? just Central Florida, because we knew she was never going to move. She's um, And she just recently, well, almost two years now, got married. So she's settled, and Joe has kids. We have grandkids, but they're all grown. Right. And... It was time to go, and after COVID, I kind of kept talking to my boss, and they've changed their whole attitude about remote working, mm -hmm. and they're letting me work remotely, which is huge. Fantastic, and so that's another thing I think we should talk about. Mm -hmm. I think people have a misconception that everybody that moves to a 55 and over is already retired, and that no. is definitely not the case. No. We no. have a lot of people that work from home in these communities and a lot of people that work outside of the home. So you do not have to be retired. And so many people after COVID have been able to work yeah. from home. So that's Yeah, I, I think uh, like you'd be surprised with actually about how many people still work from yeah. home and live in these yeah. 55 plus communities. Yeah. 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 yeah, and why not? Because yeah. then you get off work and you can hop up to the pool. Well, and... that's it. You know, if I'm done work at 4.30, I can be up there at, you know, 20 minutes to five. Mm -hmm. And you can still make happy hour. <laughs> Yeah. That's right. Yeah. yeah. The restaurant is for, super, superb. Yeah. Is it mm. the food? That's the other reason. Have you ever eaten here? I don't think so. It's, it's really. I know. It looks good. Yeah. And it's reasonable. Yeah. Yes. And that's the, one of the main reasons why um, we enjoy this. It's other communities don't have on site restaurants. You wanted that. And, I, yeah, yeah. That was yeah. the big thing yeah. for me. Yeah. I wanted because I don't like to cook. Because oftentimes, <laughs> if a community has a restaurant, it's only because they have a golf course. Correct. Exactly. Yeah. You know, so it's yeah. it's it's kind of rare to find one you exactly. know without the other. Exactly. Yeah. So that's why we kept gravitating mm -hmm. back to here. And I actually found out about you guys on YouTube. Okay, I was yeah, gonna we watch. Uh, yeah, how did you find us? Really? We just watched <laughs> one the other night. We watched one. Well that's awesome. Back I mean it's only, it's been over two years, but back then for the 55 communities, it was just like a lot of information. Yeah. There was nobody talking. Mm -hmm. And then I came upon Nikki. Is it Nikki? Yeah. yeah. Nikki Jane and her son. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, they're talking about. And then I just. And she I, got me hooked I on. I said, right. Joe, we're going <laughs> to Now watch I'm this. watching it. So. Watch <laughs> and so. then you did one. Mm-hmm. And about this place. Ah. Yeah. And 
I just really liked your personality. And then we yeah. reached out, and that was well over two years ago. And mm -hmm. Thank goodness been... we got along well because it was a chore <laughs> to get this house. It was. Was it? It oh, was, it was a process. Was it um, sight unseen? Did you buy a sight unseen or not? Joe ended up seeing the house. I never okay. did, but I knew yeah. I wanted this style. Yeah. Um, but we had looked at others and we really liked this one because of the view yeah. and the extended lanai. That was a big thing mm -hmm. that I wanted. But it's also, so you reached out to Trisha two years. Well, I think it was over two years ago. Yeah. yeah. Cause a lot of people think like, oh, I'm not quite ready yet. So I'm not going to reach out. Like really there's no, it's never too early. No. To start just getting in touch and getting familiar with the area. No. And Trisha showed us other homes that I really liked, mm -hmm. but. It was, really, to it was really, it was really too yeah. big for us. Yeah. Yes. And we didn't need that extra room. Before we even met you, we had uh, Chris had found um, a house for sale, a villa like this, just up the street from mm -hmm. here. And she said, "This looks nice," and um, we couldn't get down to see it. So our daughter, there was a broker that was involved, with not not you, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I forgot that was before we met you. I think yeah. I knew that. I think yeah. That and that she uh, came over. our daughter came up. Uh, with her husband, uh, soon to be husband, I guess it was, and they looked at the house and did FaceTime and, with and us. And they FaceTimed it with us, and they said, when they left, they said, "You got to buy this place," and uh, it, it just didn't work out. Timing wasn't quite right yet. But she went up and she toured the Magnolia House yeah. and mm. the pool, and she she said, "Mom, this is like, and it is. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's gorgeous. like." It's like you're on vacation. Yeah. It is. And they have a full-time activity person. That was the other thing mm -hmm. that I really liked because okay. a lot of the places had things, but they were run by people. And in the community. Yeah, in the just community. Home just yeah. makes a huge difference. Like we went to the Buble thing the other night. Oh, yeah, yeah. And we went to the 4th of July party. And we've gone up to dinner. and I saw you at the pool the other day. Yeah, I've been there. <laughs> so times. that is a very good point. So... Justin, I'm sure you know this, but for people watching, if they don't have a paid activities director, then you're counting on people like us to mm -hmm. get together a potluck or yeah. get together a bingo game or a card right. game or whatever. And so the quality of the activities and then the frequency of the activities is definitely yeah. different. So if, if people really want the lifestyle piece, then that is a really good yeah. point to bring up. Yeah, and this place had all those. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and right. it's fact, it's a gated community too. Mm -hmm. Right. That's, that's it is, which important. is good. That was important to you guys. Yes. Yeah. 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 I think that to Chris's point, I say this to people all the time, you can be as involved as you want to be. Mm -hmm. Nobody's knocking on your door. So that intrusive part, they're not right. dragging you out to do things, mm -hmm. but you can be welcome and involved in anything you want. And I feel that even above all of the beautiful amenities in this community, the people are what makes it. That's what, mm -hmm. if we talk again in a year and you guys have been here long yeah. enough and made friends, you're going to say, hands down, that's the most important piece. Yeah. Right. You moved in in the summer. How's the, the summer been? What do you think about the summers down here? Well, we were just <laughs> saying that the other day because I hate humidity. Yeah. But it's not I don't feel it here. Feel it's it not, it's, it's not no different, I don't think, yeah. than some of the it, up north. And it's been rain. so hot up north that yeah. they're calling me and it's actually cooler here. Mm -hmm. But there's always seems to be a breeze here. There yeah. is a breeze here in this area of Lake County. Have you mm -hmm. noticed that? Yeah. There's yeah. A, yeah. yeah. That's I mean, how I explain it to the back home people. They, they say, why are you going up there? The worst two months of the year is, you know. We didn't plan it that way, but that's and, how it is. And uh, I said, I'm not having a problem here. I said, there isn't one day that I don't sit out on that alone all night right. and not see a breeze right. moving the trees around. Years ago, when we talked about moving to Florida, she says, I can't, I can't go down there in that heat, <laughs> that, that humidity. I can't stand it. Yeah. And, then, and she, then she said, we got to go to Florida. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You just never yeah. know, do you? Right. right. Women. So how do you, so are you happy? Because I know this is the floor plan you guys really wanted. It's the floor plan I have. How do you feel now that you're in it? Is it big enough? Are you, oh, yeah. 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 It's big. Oops, sorry. Hi. Hello. We got to get him. Hi. Hi. Smokey. Hi, Smokey. Hi, I've never seen you. Hi. You have to get down now. He's okay. That's he's not right. supposed to be on the counter to begin with, but he's pushing it. Uh, you know you're not supposed to be on. You said you were a boater in Massachusetts, right? Um, ocean. Saltwater boater. Yeah. Did you consider coast at all down here? No. No. Just no. Didn't want to at because all. of having vacationed on both coasts. Okay. Over yeah. The years off and on, 
I liked coasts, and yeah. I would certainly like to boat there, but I just didn't have a good warm feeling about mm. a permanent life there. Yeah. Right. You know, you said you have your boat um, okay. in a slip, what, Tomorrow, 15, 15, minutes 15 minutes away? Yeah, yeah. 15, 20 minutes. Pretty away, cheap, so. pretty yeah. affordable, Yeah. yeah. right? Very and affordable. you can just get in and go. Yeah. And, the, and the marina is great. It's it's a well-kept marina. They have it a little is. store there. They have restrooms there. Yeah. Uh, and there are lots of places on those lakes, the Harris Chain, that you yeah. can stop and get drinks. Or That's what you're going to love. Whatever. That's the other I thing. I love that. We didn't Me have too. that in Massachusetts. Yeah. yeah. That was one of the first things when we looked at specifically this area and we looked at Harris Lake. I asked and, and looked up and got a chart, a lake chart, mm. and was looking for little canals yeah. to see how they interconnect with each other and made sure that my boat was a size that could could get in could yeah. get through those right. canals to go from Harris to Eustis yeah. to uh, Griffin Lake. And yeah. Even from Griffin Lake, you could end I up I think going. you can go to St. John's River. You yeah. can't. Yeah. You can't. Yeah. The I next mean, I lake guess it would be a Saint, really long day. Yeah. Yeah. After you go through Griffin, there's another lake you can go to, and that connects to St. Yeah. John's. And we, were, we actually went to the beach the other day, and I stopped at uh, uh, Bass, Maria, Pro Maria, Shop. Bass Pro Shop, and I... They had a sale on uh, nice. depth sounders, and I says I'm going to need one for the shallow lakes yeah. here. What on um, beach did you go to? Uh, Ormond beach. beach. Okay, hour. Probably about it was like an hour and a half. An hour know. and ten. Hour 15. ten? Not yeah. bad at all. Yeah. No, yeah. not it bad wasn't. at all. So we parked there, literally across the street, and then they have bathrooms there. They have mm -hmm. everything is there. Anything that you haven't liked about trilogy? Anything that stuck out within the first seven weeks? No, the only mm. thing at first was trying to get around. And the, we, but your, we found the the area? inside the community? No, no, yeah. not oh, in the, the community, community, but like for okay. shopping and things oh, like that. that. Yeah. But we figured out all the shortcuts. Yeah. 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 I told you you would. Once you <laughs> yeah. get the short, and then you'll, it's just, yeah, yeah. it's just second nature to you. One night I, I went out and I, I, I had my phone with me, and Chris called me and said, where are you? I says, I'm still here. What do you mean here? I'm in the community. I, I'm driving around. I don't know how to get to the <laughs> gate to get out. I don't know how to get out. This was the first week. The first week. Right. We trap you in. Yeah. The first week that we were here and he was totally disoriented. And, uh, but I thought it was going to be a lot harder for shopping mm -hmm. and things. No, but it's Because we not. lived in Groveland, Mass. Mm -hmm. And that, we had to go 15, 20 like 30 minutes to a mall so it's very very similar we were 30 yeah. miles 32 miles north of boston okay and it you know, it was a chore sometimes to get in because of the traffic yeah well we haven't had any pro couple of times there's some slow ups but with mm -hmm. these other roads that we've discovered and i'm sure there's even more, there's more. yeah that we're going to find we we get into claremont quickly yeah um, for us to drive an hour to like down to well disney's not even an hour no. but that was the other reason we didn't even mention disney yeah. we had disney freaks yeah oh okay nice but have you been since you moved oh in? Yeah. yeah yes and so i was always just... afraid of the hoa because i really didn't understand it but now well, that... trisha he kept quizzing trisha but now <laughs> now that we're here and we're seeing the, the the value of what is included because i think this is a very valid point justin don't you so some mm -hmm. people don't understand they just see the number and they mm -hmm. say okay we don't want to look there and i try to explain that if the services that are inside your hoa are services you're going to use anyway or need anyway yeah. then it really is a good value yeah. and yeah. so to your point joe did he was always because you didn't want a high hoa but when mm -hmm. you see what's included and that you would have been paying for those yeah. then and is that is the internet enough for you the internet is the big thing we were paying over 200 a month at wow. home for internet and then we get the tv and um, home security home, home security, security. Mm -hmm. which we just had set up the other day and the grass and the upkeep and then all the activities yeah. and the pool is right. like and just the convenience of being here and yeah and being and gated that's included and gated. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so it was well worth it and uh, the taxes uh, that's the other thing everybody like... scared us yeah mm -hmm. That it's going to be so expensive in Florida, compared to, from from you from Massachusetts now. Our car insurance is less. Yeah, less. significantly less. I think it's it's <laughs> relative to where you come from and the property but taxes. The, the the quality of life is, in my opinion, being able to be outside all year yeah. long, et cetera, is not. 
Yeah. And that was it's what I always wanted is shorts and flip flops. Yep. I see you have a gas stove. Was gas? Yes, that's a another necessity? thing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Need Even gas. though you don't like to cook. Well, when we do, <laughs> Joe actually cooks more than I, I, I do. Oh, okay. And our daughter in Winter Park has electric, and yeah. it's horrific. Yeah. Plus, they have a gas line right outside. You can put it outside. Yeah. And uh, yep. now I'm trying to get information on. Do I have to buy a specific type of grill, or do I have to? There is or, a. Or can I buy a regular propane type, and I can yes. modify it? To uh, it now, does does this have solar? Yes. yes. It took a while for it to get transferred, right. so I haven't got the second electric bill. The, but so, the first electric bill was two hundred. So it won't be that way after that. So you right. you'll so what it should be is right around forty dollars a yeah. month. Any advice for anyone looking? Start early. It's never too early. Right. And find somebody to help you. Mm -hmm. That was a big thing and somebody that's patient. So I want to thank Justin today and also Chris and Joe for letting us into your beautiful home. Being patient with me, getting your home because that was not fun. <laughs> um, and then to anybody out there that's thinking about it, it's never too early. If you want to get in touch with any of the agents, you just reach out to Explore 55 Plus. You can call, text, email. Um, or sign on to the website and fill out a form, and we'll be happy to help you. Nailed it. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. Nailed it. Great.